Hello! Hola! Welcome in! Bienvenue! Brunichiwa! Aloha! And in any language, the Bizarre Lego Kickstarter will be relaunching this Monday, July 31st. Why am I introducing it in this video? Well, we're talking about a lot of Lego Island in this video uh, from Island Extreme Stunts. You might have seen this from Lego Island 2. Yes, it's a real skateboard. I got a lot of different trivia and obscure products and merchandise to talk about on that book. I'm wearing a shirt all about it. I'll be talking more about it at Brick Fair Virginia this coming week. So be sure to check it out. The display will be in the mixed area by the stay and play and military sections of Brick Fair Virginia in the main hall. I'm looking forward to seeing you all there, talking more about the book and getting this thing off on the right track. Get this thing rolling if I may. <laughs> All right, on to the video. Thanks for watching. Hello, everybody. It's mail time with Maniac 4 Bricks. I just made that up right now, but we're going right to it with a lot of Lego packages for today. A lot. There. Gently put on top. All right. A lot of LEGO Island Extreme stunts to talk about in here, as well as a couple of other interesting items on these envelopes on the top. Let's get to those first. In my ever rabbit hole research of LEGO online, whether or not for Bizarre LEGO, I come across some very interesting things from any kind of website, and one of them was from Moderno Bricks from eBay. I've also known them for many years through Bricklink, I know them in person, and I was looking forward to receiving this item in the mail from them, an unreleased LEGO Video headpiece. This was supposed to be for one of the cancelled sets from LEGO Video, uh, probably would have released in 2022, if not this year. And from my speculation, based on the names we know of in the uh, cancelled list, this might have been with the Dinosaur R&B Skate Park, which seems appropriate. This is a Stegosaurus-looking head. It's definitely got that same kind of design for the eyes and face from other LEGO video figures and even just other animal figures in general. But uh, let's see how it looks on a minifig. Yeah, check it out. I'm a dinosaur. It fits pretty well, feels really good, and I think I'd love to add it to my own figure sometime later. As with other LEGO items, I sometimes need to do a little more research after obtaining the product, and that's the case with this one also from eBay. This one is a trans dark pink male headpiece. Very similar to the one that you would find for such as the classic version of Han Solo or my Sig Fig, that same kind of hairstyle that's been used for many years with male figures. Uh, let's get that on a minifig head and see how it looks. Now I've already tried it once before with my own Sig Fig and it's a little bit of a loose fit but I've also tried other hair pieces on here and I think it just might be a matter of the head more than the hair piece itself. But hey, that's a new do for me. I've never dyed my hair before. Why not try it in a transparent color? Now, if I try it with another minifigure, it'll fit a little bit better. Just little differences between the heads, I guess. But uh, yeah, that works out nicely. And it does actually say Lego on the inside. It does seem legit, although the production is still of question. You can see that it says 1C Lego and 06 right on the inside, just like any other headpiece. Now, I would personally like to use this for some space figures, maybe not this one in particular, but I think it would go great with some of that trans dark pink I got a whole while ago, trying to build some spaceships with that color in mind for a color scheme. I think it'd be fun to add some hair pieces like that to some of the figures while they're boarding the ship, if they're not, you know, wearing space helmets and things like that. And on we go to the LEGO Island Extreme Stunts. No, it's not moist clay. That just happens to be the box they used. LEGO Island Extreme Stunts was from 2003. It was a very short wave of LEGO sets based on the third game in the LEGO Island franchise, which had already been available from 1997 with the first game on PC only. Um, 2000? I think it was 2000 or 2001. I have to look again. For LEGO Island 2, The Brickster's Revenge, which was on multi-platform, so not just on PC, but also uh, PlayStation 2, uh, Game Boy, a whole bunch of different places. And then further along, Island Extreme Stunts, which actually has its own sets. Technically, LEGO Island 1 had a uh, release of a minifigure, and LEGO Island 2 had a keychain, but this is a full lineup. Well for 2003 I should say. So I have three boxes here with 
almost all the sets included. The only ones I don't have are the very small box sets and the poly bags from Chupa Chups, which are very hard to find, whether or not they're sealed. Um, finding them opened, obviously, is just a reprint of some of the figures from the sets anyways. And there is technically another set that has a whole lot of Violent Extreme stunts in it. Doesn't technically count in a theme, but we'll talk about that sometime later. I was such a big fan of this theme growing up because I had already played the other games beforehand and I was finally excited to get some of these as actual physical LEGO products. Although I did have the Brickster keychain from LEGO Island 2, it is nice to have a minifigure without being a keychain, you know? Especially because the keychain released first before the figure, unlike nowadays you usually find them well after. So this particular box with the moist clay on the side of it said it has four different sets in here so we have seven uh no six seven three six six seven three seven six seven three five and six seven three nine of these sets i have never actually built the truck one before this is a brand new experience for me um these did arrive mostly complete already assembled and i just had to fix up a few things from taking them out of the package but no big deal. Um, there's only a few pieces that are missing, but luckily they're mostly common pieces. And the chrome elements that are in here, because this is one of the later eras of having chrome on uh, Lego pieces, the chrome in here is pretty good. Like, it's not entirely perfect, but I'm okay with it. It looks good for its age, absolutely. Um, and uh, the funny thing about each of these, you'll see in just a bit, um, there's a lot, a lot to unpack. Now direct our attention over to our second box here with the priority mail. So in our second box, I have another set that I've never built before. I'm very happy to have it, 6740. While I do have most of the minifigures separately, it's nice to have the full assembly as well. We also have in here, 6734. We've got, I'm just unfolding the instructions here, 6737 and 6735. And I know what you may be thinking, didn't I see one of those before? I'll, I'll explain it in just a bit. But as far as these go, they're pretty much complete. There's only like one or two that I've had uh, pieces missing. Like there's a piece missing on the back of the helicopter as well as the back of the plane. Exactly the same piece actually, um, but nothing that I can't replace later. A few extra pieces were in here, surprisingly, and um, Maybe one or two of these stunt sticks I still need to reacquire, but if I'm using it from one set to the other, it's not a big deal. And then our last box to arrive, Fragile, handle with care. Surprisingly, this box is actually repurposed from a Lego shop at home order, as I recognize the label there. Now this one, I don't have everything assembled. Uh, it's no movie magic like the other boxes from before, but I can still share it here and the box inside of it. Just move that out of the way. Here we are. Some bubble wrap around those. Just take that off. See inside of it. Box is already kind of torn, but that's okay. Wouldn't be the first time. Ah, finally. Six, seven, three, five. <laughs> we finally know the name. Air Chase. I actually forgot the name. Um, most of the sets up to this point, but you know, I talk about them later. I'll uh, I'll refer to them by name as well as number. And this one without the box, it's okay. Six seven three eight. This is the skate park. This one is actually it's very easy to find on eBay, but it also fetches quite a price usually. So luckily, all three of these boxes have been some form of Island Extreme Stunts bundles of sets that I found cheaper than trying to buy them individually. So that works out very nicely for me. Let's, uh, <laughs> before I actually get to the wrapping up everybody here, I should probably acknowledge that I've uh, tried to recollect some Island Extreme Stunts a few years ago. Um, I grew up with a bunch of these, though there were some I could not build again because parts were scattered across the cosmos. So what I did instead, I picked up some of them for relatively cheap from uh, eBay before. So we have another copy of 6734 with just the bike, whatever you want to call this thing. I'll, I'll get to the name of it later. It does also have the instructions and stickers inside of there. And then we have this box, <laughs> which is very, 
very destroyed, unfortunately. Almost down to being flattened, practically. 6736. And it's missing only a couple of pieces, but nothing that I can't replace or nothing that's too exclusive to the set itself. So now let's try to wrap up everything on the same table. That's gonna be a challenge. Whew! I can't believe I was able to fit it all on the same table. But this is one entire collection of LEGO Island Extreme stunts for the retail products, uh, not including the small box ones, and several copies of several different sets. So two copies there, two copies here, three copies here, uh, two copies there. So that's pretty darn good for me. I actually built the large tower back there on the 72 hour community live stream with Zbricks. So check them out on that channel if you wanna see more about that and my uh, reactions to the set first time of building that. Um, I do wanna cover these sets in more detail sometime later. I would love to do a retrospective review series out of these now that I have one of every other retail sets and get to some of those other ones sometime afterward. But for now, uh, this is really fun getting back into this and finally completing a Lego theme that I've wanted to for a very, very long time. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you with more Lego Island Extreme Stunts videos in the near future. Uh, be sure to check out Bizarre Lego. I will be having the Kickstarter this Monday, July 31st, writing for a month on Kickstarter. The links will be provided all over the social media and, um, I would love to get that book finally published, and some LEGO Island may make its way into there. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.